I'm Mr. Jackson and Chief Meteorologist David Hecker. The tropics, not a ton going on, but we've been watching this one tropical wave over the last couple of weeks, and it does have a pretty decent chance now of actually becoming a little bit more, potentially becoming a tropical depression heading into next week. And it could, I want to emphasize the word could, be a precursor to something that may be going on in the tropical Atlantic later on in the season. So the area that this is developing in is what's called the main development region or MDR. You may have heard of this region before. The vast, vast majority of hurricanes and major hurricanes develop in the main development region. But the MDR doesn't normally get really rolling until we get into August and especially September. And what's kind of peculiar this year is we've already had two named storms, Brett and Cindy in June in the MDR. That's the first time in recorded history we had two tropical storms in the main development region in June. And here's our most recent tropical wave that we're watching that has developed here in late July. So there is a chance we could have three systems that develop in the MDR before August the 1st, and that would be very, very unusual. And it could be an indication that the entire region here is more primed for hurricane activity than typical. And that has led to the fact that we have incredibly warm waters in this zone. And a reminder, warm water is kind of fuel for these developing systems. That's what kind of kicks them into gear from becoming tropical depressions or tropical storms or tropical waves to tropical depressions. If this was a typical year, this would be an enormous troublesome sign. However, it's not a typical year. It's an El Nino year. In fact, we now have an El Nino in full-blown effect here off the coast of Peru and into sections of the Central Pacific. And what that does is it changes upper air weather patterns and produces more shear, especially in this main development region. And what shear does is really kind of rip apart a developing system. In fact, it's not uncommon for high wind shear events to actually just completely tear apart a tropical wave or possibly even a tropical depression. So it's kind of a battle here between the very warm water temperatures in the MDR and the wind shear that's almost certainly going to continue to develop as we head into August and September. One thing that's interesting, though, is the track of this system. So here it is right here in the main development region. Almost all the computer models are indicating if this gets going and becomes a tropical depression or tropical storm, it's not headed for the United States. In fact, it's going to miss most of the Caribbean and likely pivot in a northward to northeastward direction. It could be a close shave potentially for Bermuda, but there are some long, long-term computer models that are indicating this corridor right here in the North Atlantic may see above average tropical activity. And one key way for that to occur is stuff develops down here in the main development region and kind of lifts its way up towards the north and northeast. So it is very possible that this track of this potential system could end up being what some, not all, but some of these systems end up taking in the main development region heading into August and September. So bottom line, we still could be on track for an above average season, but a lot of the activity may end up set heading into parts of the open Atlantic. I'm Assistant Chief Meteorologist David Heckert for Channel 4, The Local Station.